Hi, I'm Elle McCann from Curious Themes Web Development Studio in Nashville, Tennessee. And in this video tutorial, I am going to walk you through how to add the Pinterest pin it button or save button as it's called now onto your website images. So what I'm wanting to accomplish in this, I am going to actually be showing you on my friend's website, which is the wedding invitation company that sells semi custom wedding invitations. So the goal of this is to be where you roll over an image, kind of like this beautiful image here, and you can see my cursors on it. However, nothing's really happening. So since she is in the wedding industry and relies heavily on Pinterest, she reached out to me wanting to know exactly how to add it to where people can instantly pin the image straight from her website, which is a very common question that I get. So I wanted to record this video. It's a very quick process and it just includes one line of code. So I will walk you through that now. So we are on the front end of her site now. So I'm gonna go to the back end of her Shopify store. And I am under online store and themes in the left hand menu. Once you get to the themes area, you're going to go to this active theme and for actions, you're going to click on this and hit edit code. Next, we're going to click on theme dot liquid, which you can see here under the layouts area. And we're going to be adding this at the top head area of our site. So as you're adding code, just make sure that you're being very careful because if you accidentally delete something or add something in the wrong place, it could mess up your site. So just make sure you're being very mindful. So this code snippet that we're going to add is going to be in between the head tags. So you can see here on this theme in line four, you can see this head. And then if we scroll down further, let's see, we can see it again here with the closing on line 72. So you need to put it in between these head tags. So let's come up here. So let's actually put that the code right before this other script tag. So I have the code already done in a Google document and I'm just going to copy it here. So this is a little bit of a long code for you to type out. So what I'm going to actually do is paste this code for you to use in the description below this video and you can actually copy it straight from the description and paste it in on your site just as it is. You won't need to modify this code at all. So what we're doing is now we're, we found our place of where we're wanting to put this in between the head tags and I'm just going to hit paste and you can see the, the long code here Oops. and we're just going to hit save. So again, just make sure you do it in between those two head tags and now we're going to go back to the front end of the site and I'm just going to refresh. So if we hover over this image now, we can actually see this Pinterest button that shows up. So it's a very common icon that people are really used to interacting with. So this is really nice to have on your site. And if we click on it, it'll actually pop up this window right here that has the image as well as the ability for them to put it to whatever board they want to. So if we close out of that and scroll down, you can actually see that it's here on her homepage where she has her products listed out. You have that option here and we can just click on the Pinterest and have it pinned straight from here on the actual product image. And because we, as I told you before, it's a, a code that's going to work throughout your site. So if we go to one of her pages, like this ordering process page, and we hover over this. So this is just a page in Shopify, but you can see that it's also working here. So adding it in one location at the top of your site, we'll add it throughout your site to your different products, collections, and images on pages and blog posts. And that's all you need to do to get that set up on your site. So to get the Pinterest code that I used, make sure to check out the description below this video and you can copy and paste that directly into your site. And also make sure that you've subscribed to this channel to get more weekly videos all about Shopify and how to grow your online business.